Hello boys and girls, Mrs. Holman here with your daily announcements. Today is Friday, January 15th, 2021. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Looks like the weather is going to be sunny and warm, perfect for a Friday. We've had a very nice week of weather. Today's lunch choice is going to be chicken nuggets or ham and cheese. And if you're planning for Monday morning, our breakfast will be bagel. We have quite a few birthdays to talk about today, friends. We have some birthdays today and some birthdays on Monday. Happy sixth birthday to the following kindergarten students. Dylan Dukes in Mrs. Stevenson's class, Aiden Elliott in Mrs. Weldon's class, and Delance Handy in Ms. Orwashel's class. On Monday, we celebrate Jennifer Sierras Morales, also in Ms. Stevenson's class, and a preschool student, Shanley Charles, in Ms. Rain's class. We hope you have a great birthday weekend, friends. Our read aloud today is Mr. Long singing Fall is Sorry, not singing, <laughs> reading. Fall is for friends. And before we do that, we are going to recite our school rules. Please repeat after me. I promise to A. Act safely B. Be a friend C. Choose manners and D. Do my best. Have a great day of learning, boys and girls, and have a great weekend. Good morning, boys and girls. Mr. Long with another read aloud. Fall is for Friends by Susie Spafford. Susie Duckin loved everything about fall. She loved wrapping herself in big cozy sweaters. She loved crisp apples and big orange pumpkins. But most of all, she loved jumping into piles of leaves with her best friend, Emily. Until they took that first running leap every year, it didn't feel as if fall had really arrived. When there are leaves going to fall, Susie wondered, maybe they just need a little help, declared Emily. Susie had never thought of that. You mean we could help the leaves fall off the trees, she asked Emily. Of course, her friend said confidently, this is us we're talking about. Now all that the girls had to do was figure out how to get the leaves to drop. They needed a plan. They had so many ideas. Back in Susie's room, they piled all the things they might need into a big cardboard box. First, Susie and Emily tried leading a cheer to make the leaves want to fall from the trees. Fall leaves fall, that's what we say, hit the ground so we can play. When that didn't work, Emily said, maybe we should show the leaves what fun it would be to fall. So the friends set to work, cutting leaf shapes out of construction paper and taping them all over each other. Let's show them how it's done, Emily said. 
the two girls began to dance and spin among the trees. Oh, how I love to ride a gentle breeze and fall softly to the ground, Emily said in a dreamy voice. Emily quickly became so dizzy that she actually did fall, but it wasn't softly. I am floating. I am free, trilled Susie, tripping over Emily. This time, Susie tried a little magic. Leaves of brilliant red and gold fall before we both grow old, she commanded. The leaves stayed right where they were. As the friends wondered what to do next, Emily began to hum a tune. Emily always hummed when she was concentrating especially hard. That's it, shouted Susie suddenly. We'll sing the leaves off the trees. Songs can help you think. Songs can make you happy. Some songs can make you want to get up and dance, Susie continued. So why can't a song make the leaves want to fall off the trees? Well, what are we waiting for, asked Emily. Let's make up a fall song. A little while later, the girls joined hands, took deep breaths, and sang, Blow, breeze, blow the leaves gently to the ground. My friend and I are waiting, and fall is all around. We did it, the girls whispered to each other in amazement. Now it felt like fall. The end. Hope you guys enjoyed. Fall is for friends.